Luke MacDonald, one of the directors of the Fine Arts Department of Chaffins in Cambridge. So you're standing in front of a really lovely piece here, so tell me a little bit about that. Well this is a, a very fine Regency library table from a house in Norfolk, a country house in Norfolk called High House, um, in a village called Westacre, and it is very, um, very special in many ways um, because of the size of it, and because of the design of it, and almost certainly made by Gillows. Uh, who, um, who are renowned for some of the finest commissions anyway of country houses of that period. Um, and the only other one of this design, or very similar to this design, is at Hackwood Park in Hampshire. Um, and that, uh, that, was re that was sold in 1998 for round about a quarter of a million pounds. Uh, clearly that was the top of the market, and this one needs a great deal of restoration. Also, possibly, it's in two halves, and we don't know if it started life in two halves or not, but has been used as two console tables um, lately. I'm Sophie Richardson and I do all the PR for Chaffins. So Sophie, there are quite a few people who feel slightly intimidated about coming to an auction house and buying at an auction. Um, why do you think that is and what do you think, um, how do you think they should feel? I think the issue is that a lot of people feel that if you're coming to an auction you're going to be paying millions of pounds for a incredibly rare oil painting when actually you can come here and you can buy something just for your house and I think that's what people sort of are missing at the moment um, and that's what we're really trying to change here at Chapman. Hello, my name is Patricia Dedikova. I'm an assistant cataloguer at Chaffin's Auctioneers and uh, I spend most of my days researching and cutting new paintings and helping clients with their inquiries. So over here we've got uh, some of my favourite lots in the sale. Uh, we've got a painting of, uh, this is the Venetian theme, um, so a painting of Venice by Noël Georges Bouvard, um, valued at two to three thousand pounds. It's one of those iconic pictures of Venice that people are very keen on at the moment. And here we actually have a, uh, an example of Venice that, um, that, just, that was painted a century later by somebody who was very close to uh, Turner. money were no object, what would you be taking home with you today? I think it would have to be a picture of Venice because they, they keep coming out for auction and it's also a good investment. Um, we had a picture, uh, I love Canaletto and Alt Masters, and we had a picture about 10 years ago that we sold for approximately £1,000 and when the same client wanted to um, sell it off 10 years later it made £15,000 so I think Venice is very much in fashion and everybody loves to go there on trips and it looks good and it's got good Venetian colours in it as well so uh, I think it would be this boulevard over here I think that's a, one of the best um, pictures of Venice we've got in the sale over here Yeah. 
So you will take it at 190 with a nun. Quiet on the phone at 190. Take not to I haven't it around. Well, I'm not going to Incredibly enthusiastic about um, the things that you sell and being in an auction house. How would you encourage people to come and participate or sort of find things at auction? To, 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 to come and see us on the viewing days before the auction and we're always here to talk about the pieces and show people, show people the items and, and why they're interesting, tell them about their history um, and, and encourage people to, because to buy them here it, 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 it's, it's no different to buying them in, in a shop really except that there is obviously an unknown price tag um, and you do have to, to bid in the, in the auction but that is now really quite easy to do. It's not terrifying. Um, we can guide you through it. There are many ways. You can stand in the room um, and bid with a paddle number. You can uh, leave a commission bid, which would be your highest bid that you would, could, could go to on the day. Um, you can even bid online. Um, so it's, so it's not PC. an intimidating experience? Not it doesn't all. have to be, does not it? Not at all. It's, it's exciting in some respects. So um, rather than be apprehensive, be excited. <laughs>